The only thing we don't have is something to illustrate it and to add a an image that's even it easier with visual editor. We all we need to do is click edit. And we're going to use this final drop down insert. Let's open that up. And there's many different things we could insert reference list, formula graph, musical notation, gallery, table, template. Okay, so we hit insert media to insert a picture. Now, we have two tabs in the media settings, search and upload. So you could upload your own picture to Wikipedia, but you would need for it to be your own work or copyright free. Anything on Wikipedia has to be openly licensed and free for anyone to reuse and redistribute. So if it's not, then don't upload it. First, so second tab is upload your own picture. First tab is to search through Wikipedia's sister project, Wikimedia Commons, which has about 31 million images and rising uh, in terms of images that are freely open to be reused and redistributed. And these can be easily added to Wikipedia pages. So if we just do a keyword search for any image that you would like to add, so it can be anything you like. Uh, I'm going to put Edinburgh Castle. It's having a search and it's bringing me up some suggestions from Wikimedia Commons. And we can scroll through all the ones that we like the look of. Well, I think I liked the one at the top, so I'm just going to go with this first one. Okay, clicked on it. Now I can scroll down to get more information on it, showing me the size and the licensing. So CC BY is fine to use, or CC BYSA is also fine to use. So is public domain images. So we're happy with that, but everything on Wikimedia Commons should be freely reusable on Wikimedia and Wikipedia. So I'm going to click the use this image to insert the image. And that's asking me for if I want to include a caption, which I do. Edinburgh Castle will be my caption. And you can add some formatting to that caption as well if you like. It's worthwhile checking at this point the advanced settings tab. Click through to that. And that shows you that you can wrap text around the item if you want to, or you can have the item to the left of the page, or the center of the page, or the right of the page. So you can have your image left, center, or right. You can have it with a frame if you would like, or a thumbnail size and you can determine the size, you can determine the dimensions in pixels or make full size if you prefer. But I'm happy with how my picture is, so I'm going to just click insert. Oh, and there it is. But it looks quite small there, so I wasn't expecting that it to be that small, so I can just pull with my cursor the bottom left corner to increase the size to a size I'm happy with. I think that should do it. And there we have it. I've now added an image to my page. And I can click Save Page, Added an Image. There we have it. I've created my first user page.